All three top manufacturers, Stanford, Drayton and Honeywell Home, make exactly the same programmable room thermostats, either a single channel or two channel. First, can I thank all the people who have watched the first part of my two zone systems and changing it over to three zones for a normal three bedroom semi uh, I appreciate the comments and I'm making this video to reply to all the questions that people have left behind. Why bother when a three bedroom semi, we've always just done a combi and all the rads hanging on? Well, the reason is it's better to split the system from downstairs to upstairs because it's cheaper to run and much more efficient and it makes the system very smart. What we do at the moment is, at 7 o'clock in the morning, the whole house starts warming up, which is fine, because we're all upstairs, most of us are upstairs, and the bathroom's upstairs, so we want to wake up with a nice warm house. Now, there's two ways to do it. We could either have sort of a programmer somewhere, and it switches on quarter to seven, half past six, so at 7 o'clock when we wake up, the house is lovely and warm, and that's fine. Or we can have exactly the same thing. This firm, whether it's Danfoss, Honeywell Home or Drayton, make a wireless one. So now we have a remote control. So we've got one for the TV. So we switch it on and off and we've got used to it. But why not have one on the central heating? So, for example, this is a Drayton single channel and they make a two channel, the same as all the three firms make exactly the same type of system. This we can put by the bed, so we don't have to get up and walk into a cold house to switch it on or rely on the clock. Using this RF radio frequency is actually cheaper to run because in the UK we have lots of days where we don't need the heating on or at least we don't have to have the upstairs on and the downstairs on. So imagine if we had a remote control that we could say switch on the upstairs first at quarter to seven and then the downstairs quarter past seven. So by the time we finished the downstairs is warming up, the upstairs can get switched off and then the downstairs warms up. That saves a great deal of money and it also makes the boiler far, far more efficient because it's only heating a couple of the radiators instead of all eight, nine, ten of them, which is wasteful and it allows stress. But at the end of the day, when the heating switches on, for example, maybe five o'clock or six o'clock, we're warming up the whole house. Now, supposing we was to turn off the upstairs bedrooms and allow the downstairs radiators to warm up through the staircase and it would warm up the bedrooms and the bathrooms quite happily. And especially if you live in a larger house, apart from a townhouse, which will have three floors, so you're going to have ground floor, first floor, second floor. So if they were all individually controlled by a wireless remote single channel that would be brilliant but don't forget they also make two channels that means that all the big downstairs radiators could warm up most of the house for most of the evening and as we go to bed we can then turn off those big radiators downstairs we normally turn in 11 o'clock ish so we could turn the heating off downstairs at maybe half past 10. And then if we wanted to, we could switch on the upstairs bedrooms just for about half an hour or so, just to top up and bring it up to the temperature that we like. That again means less stress for the boiler, less work, and obviously less fuel is going to be used. And by switching the different zones, we save money, the boiler does less work, lasts longer, it's a win-win situation. And obviously it's going to cost less. So let's have a look at this second part video, how to add another zone to the one or two that you've got already. And then I'm going to show you a drawing, how to use a 16-way wiring center 
and not just two zones but you can add a third zone to it you can add a fourth zone to it you can add a fifth zone to it very easy very simple so enjoy the video and don't forget please like and subscribe to the channel for more of these fantastic hollywood style videos take care on a two zone system then we'd have one zone which would be the radiators downstairs and zone two would be the hot water or if that's already covered then zone two would be the upstairs bedroom radiators or any other circuit if the boiler is located in a outside the area the loft or a garage far away from those big radiators then it's definitely almost compulsory to zone off those radiators the big ones for a much faster warm-up the heating flow temperature has to be on maximum otherwise the heat loss will be too much to bear and those areas will never reach temperature Use the heat loss calculator to make sure that the radiators downstairs are the correct size because otherwise if they're too small, which is quite often, the boiler will be on and on at maximum gas rate. We want to lower the return temperature and that's done by increasing and slightly oversizing the radiators. If the boiler is downstairs, close to the large radiators, then make sure that the heating flow temperature is set at 60 and that will keep the boiler in condensing mode. All three top manufacturers, Danfoss, Drayton and Honeywell Home, make exactly the same programmable room thermostats, either a single channel or two channel. This is an example of a nice, easy single zone installation that might go for underfloor or extensions or whatever. So because it's radio frequency RF, it means that all the wiring is kept by the boiler, which is nice and handy and easy. And then the programmable room thermostat moves around the house wherever you are and you want to control that temperature. Easy peasy. On a two zone system, then we'd have one zone, which would be the radiators downstairs, and zone two would be the hot water. Or if that's already covered, then zone two would be the upstairs bedroom radiators or any other circuit. My advice is avoid a 10 way junction box for more than two zones because the wires will be extremely difficult to fit and it's easy to make a mistake. This 16-way wiring centre from Drayton and Danfoss is the one I always recommend because not only can you do a mid-position but also two zones, three zones, four zones, five zones and more. All from this, very easy, very simple and I'll show you how. Throughout the month of November 24, every person who buys an orange wiring book will receive this in an email, easy to follow, in colour, two zones. Also, as a bonus, I'm going to email this one as well throughout the month of November 24. It shows you how to add an extra three zones or different circuit. Whatever you'd like to do, this is the way it's done. We have a special offer at the moment. If you buy both books, it just costs £40, includes postage, no VAT, and it's available to UK postcodes only. Please like and subscribe to our channel because it helps us a lot and if you have any comments please leave them down below where I've put the other links as well. So all the best and take care.